So if you were to roll a six-sided die, what is the probability of seeing a five or an odd number uh, solution? So when you see the or, you know to use the addition rule. So we have a formula. So it's P of A or B. This is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Now you can use union instead of or, so you can certainly use union, and you can use intersection instead of and if you like. Okay, so now in our problem, we have P of 5 or odd. So A is 5 and B is odd. So this is P of 5 plus P of odd minus P of 5 and odd. All right, so let's think about it. We need to figure out the probability of rolling a 5 on a 6-sided die. That's the number of ways to roll a 5 divided by the number of ways to roll the die. There's one way to roll a 5, right? There's one way for the die to land on 5, and there's six ways to roll the die, or there's six ways for the die to land. So that's the probability of rolling a 5. Plus, there are three odd numbers between 1 and 6. The no those numbers are 1, 3, and 5. So there's three ways to pick an odd number and six ways to pick a number, minus. Here's where it gets a little bit weird, but not really. If someone tells you they roll a die, and they got a five, and they got an odd number, well, they rolled a five. So there's one way to roll a five, and six ways to roll the die. Again, this is the same as P of five, right? If you roll a single die, and you roll an odd number, and you roll a five, well, that number must be a five. So you end up with three over six, which is one half. And that's it.